All right, Bolo Buddies, we are back at the Goodwill bins, and I'm looking through the hats and the bags, which I normally kind of skip this section. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Or I at least wait until everybody is finished pouncing. It seems like this is the section where everybody goes to and it is just always jam packed. I did grab that little hat. I have not listed it yet. However, I did grab another one and it's a little Carter's sun hat and I just, it's listed for $6.50. It's a bread and butter item, but it's very lightweight, and I am guessing that'll probably sell pretty good during the summer. There were a bunch of ball caps here. If you guys see something you think I should have picked up, holler at me down in the comments. In fact, if you see anything in this video that you think I should have picked up or that you would have picked up, timestamp it down below and let me know what it was and why you would have picked it up. And everybody can go down to the comments and check out that and come back and look at different areas in the video so that we can all kind of get educated on areas that maybe we are not experts in. I thought this purse looked kind of cool, but I couldn't find any markings on it and I left it behind. So all you purse experts, would you have grabbed that purse? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you're new here, my name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and I like to dig through the bins. My favorite thing to pick up at the Goodwill bins is toys. Um, I am one of those people that digs to the very bottom and I grab all of the little toys and I bring them home with me and I will either part them out or I will put them in small lots. So that right there was a Fisher Price ball. Um, I will put those together. I also find the Fisher Price blocks. Um, they're like sensory blocks and they usually do different things. Sometimes they have things inside of them, but um, they're always a pretty quick sale. Not super quick, but not super long tail either. I do pretty well with them, but uh, key is to lot them up and price them right. So uh, definitely keep your eye out for those. And there's lots of variations, really just tons. Uh, there was another ball. Con conditions, you know, it, it's kind of important, but not super important. A lot of times you can rub the scuffs and the marks out and um, kind of fix them up that way. But usually I just sell them as is and just disclose that the items are pre-owned in played with condition. All right, we found, or I found, it's just me, I don't know why I said we, this duck. And it's a bath and body duck, and it's actually a harder to find item. So I've got that priced kind of on the high end, I think, for a plastic duck, but we shall see. Um, it had some snowflakes on it, so that might be more of a, uh, around Christmas time, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure why I didn't grab this. I usually pick up these little plush and lot them, but for some reason I left that one behind. All right. Let me know in the comments your favorite thing to source at the Goodwill bins. You can see I'm looking for all the little toys, throwing those in my cart. Um, a lot of those you will not see screen shares for because I am holding them to the side until I have a bundle. And... Another reason why you may not see a screenshot is because I might have thrown the item back. A lot of times I put things in my cart and I end up throwing them back into the bins. All right. This here I picked up. I think I probably should have bought it. Um, I couldn't get it to work and I was like, I'll probably get it home. The batteries will probably be corroded but it was a pretty cool item and I could have tested it over on my uh, reseller testing Bolo products channel, but I ended up throwing that back in. Uh, I may have comped it, I can't remember, but I decided not to get it. Just the bins were loaded up, loaded up. 
And, you know, I'm trying to be more selective. This day, I feel like I was a little more selective. Some days, I'm like a crazy person and I get like, my cart is overflowing. <laughs> That's typical. Um, I usually am there four or five hours and I like to load my cart. I like to leave there with as much stuff as I can find. This one right here was just full of hangers. It was not a fun bin to look through. And they weren't like good hangers. This right here kind of caught my eye. I looked it over. Would you guys have picked this up? Should, did I miss something here? Was this, it looks vintage, but I don't know. I left it behind and I'm thinking I maybe should have grabbed it. This here, I also think I should have grabbed this. I mean, it's a little birthday cake and I think it's leapfrog. I think, um, looking at that now, I think the reason I didn't grab it is it had a big stain on it. This is from Dora. It's a little backpack. I think it's Dora, right? Is that backpack or is that Blue's Clues? Mm, now I'm questioning myself. I did not grab it. Another item that maybe could have had some potential. Oh, it's Dora because there's the map. Yeah, I always pick up Dora like figurines and Blue's Clues figurines, but I ended up leaving that behind. That was a little plush brush. Lots of stuff I left on the... I left in the bins that probably could have sold. Uh, let me know down below if you guys would have grabbed these items. All right, this right here is a um, pharmaceutical zebra tape dispenser. And the Rebel reseller sells a ton of pharmaceutical items. She picks up mugs and does really, really good with that stuff. If you're not following the Rebel reseller, definitely go and subscribe to her channel. She is incredible. She specializes in plush, but um, also buys lots of other things. So check out her What Sold videos and tell her Bolo Buddy sent you. And I also, if you're watching Rebel, want to say thank you for always shouting me out and including me in a lot of your videos because I really do appreciate those shout outs. Um, Rebel is great. Um, I watch her channel all the time and I have learned so much from her and um, she's just a great channel, and her husband too. We can't forget about Robert. He is behind the scenes, but very active in the YouTube channel, so go tell them hello. All right, let's see what else we can find here. A bunch of cars. I do pick up cars from time to time, but it does depend on the car. I don't pick up everything, and I may miss cars sometimes. What was that? I'm watching this back and I'm like, I do not remember seeing that. I think I should have got this fabric. I think it's really pretty, actually, the colors. And it's a nice chunk. And it had um, on the side there the brand. So it would have been really easy to list. So thinking I should have grabbed that. I did pick up this car. I thought I already listed it, but I couldn't find it. So there's no screenshot for this. I may have sat it to the side to put with some other items. I'm not sure, but I did have my hands on it last week. I did get this guy listed. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle from the 1980s. And I thought for sure that that was going to be a big money bolo, but it was not. Um, just a bread and butter, but hoping it'll sell. All right. There's a scarf, new with tags. Maybe could have picked that up for Halloween. I don't know. I put it back. There is, um, I ended up leaving the mask behind. I put that back. Creepy mask. I do pick up Halloween masks, but that one I left behind. This right here, I put in my cart and I was really excited because it is a vintage wedding veil, but I spread it out and it had a lot of holes and defects. Would you guys have still grabbed it for somebody to like uh, maybe use the top of it or part it out or let me know down in the comments. Should I have got the wedding veil? It was pretty cool. It was definitely vintage. It probably got torn up just being in the bins. All right. We are moving over to another section here. Working our way. All right. Let's see what we can find 
Lots of Halloween items. Lots of hangers. Hangers everywhere. I think that's one of those things that um, maybe you put in the bathtub. I'm not 100% sure. It was like a plush item. I really am thinking I should have grabbed this now. I didn't get it because it had a stain on the back, but look how cute it is. Oh my goodness, it was so cute. I love selling plush. All right, this is a new sealed DVD, so I did grab that. Um, I've talked about it before in my videos. I do grab DVDs that are sealed, and um, they're typically long tail, but I can get them so cheap and just, they do sell. They do sell. Just sometimes it takes a while. It depends on what the DVD is. Looking here for some other things to chit chat with you guys about. I grabbed this horse and I've got it put to the side. I'm going to do like a toy box with some, uh, like sometimes I'll do like all girl toys. Sometimes I'll do a unisex box. Sometimes I'll do a boy's box. It really just depends. Um, are they reseller boxes? Not necessarily. Sometimes people just like to buy them for their kids and let their kids look through them. I've been pretty successful with those over on Mercari. I do put them on all three platforms typically. I usually start them on eBay and then cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. Um, I use List Perfectly to cross post. There is a link down below if you want to check out how List Perfectly works and uh, the, a demo video. And if you decide you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that is going to get you 30% off your first month. And it basically just cross posts the items for you and really saves you a ton of time. It's worth every penny. I absolutely love it. This is a little people. I have got that set to the side in a bag of little people. So I am building up a little pile and then I will put them in small lots. I did grab the baby bottle. I always grab those as replacements. Some of them are easier to identify than others. That one I have not identified yet. The VTech cars, uh, the sound, their lights and sound VTech cars, I do pick those up as well. Typically a long tail item, but um, sometimes, sometimes they sell fast. It just depends. You know, you got to find that right buyer and have that right price. I almost picked these up because they were sealed, but they were just like dollar store items. This is a Just Play Puppy Surprise Replacement Pup. Always pick those up. Again, probably a long tail item, but um, I'm okay with long tail. I am a long tail reseller. I list it and forget it. And I talk about that a lot on my channel. Um, not everybody has that same business model. Some people only buy things that have a really high sell-through rate. But I think the key to my success is having lots of variety in my store and having long tail items that sell on days when things are slow. All right, I do pick up magnets all the time and I will bundle those up. So whenever I see those at the bins, I do grab them. Here's a little VTech lights and sounds car. I did pick that up and I put that over on whatnot in my buy it now section at $3. And it's just a little inexpensive item and I'm hoping to draw people over to my whatnot. So if you are not following me on Whatnot, definitely do that. Check out my Buy It Now section. I am Bolo Buddies over there, but I also have a link down below. If you want to join with that link, you will get a $15 credit to shop, and that is my referral code. So $15 free money to maybe buy something to resell. How about that? So I challenge you guys to buy something on Whatnot to resell, and then come share it in my Facebook group because some people are really, really finding some incredible items. They're sourcing on whatnot, and they are making some big money. I got this lava soap. Uh, I ended up uh, putting that under our sink for my husband because he uh, has a car that he's working on, and sometimes his hands need soap like that. So <laughs> I went ahead and hashtag keeper on that. All right, let's see. Do you guys ever find things at the bins that you keep? I love this one right here. I almost didn't pick it up, but I decided it's Burger King and it's about um, like a car show and I figured somebody's going to be looking for it. But the big thing on that was the Burger King advertising. Um, I just got that listed. I don't know if it's going to sell quick or if it's going to take forever to sell, 
but I had to grab it. There was just no way I was leaving that cool item behind. Here's a little lovey. Always pick up loveys. Uh, someone is always looking for them. I do really well with those. A lot of them are long tail, but some of them sell really quickly. But my favorite thing about them is the messages that I get from people saying, oh my goodness, I lost this item and thank you so much that you have it. Or my child lost this item. This I think is a junk journal. And uh, Got Junk in Our Trunk talks about junk journaling and she sells the um, golden books. And I think she puts junk journal in the title and then people use them to junk journal and she does really well with those. I did pick up that Pooh Bear plush. It had a tag on it, but the tag said Tigger. So it had um, the tiger, you know, the bouncing tiger, Tigger. It had the wrong tag on it. So I popped that tag off and am just selling it as a plush. All right. So go check out Got Junk in Our Trunk. She is incredible. She has an awesome YouTube channel and she is an amazing person. And I will link her down in the description. Tell her Bolo Buddies sent you. Okay, definitely, definitely. I think this is a win. It was dirty. I did run this through the washing machine. It says my first Halloween and I could not find another one like it. And it's just a little baby rattle. So I've got that priced kind of high and I did pick up the stickers. I always pick up stickers. I have a horde of stickers. Eventually I will get to them. Um, but for now, I'm just anything new old stock stickers. They go in a pile and I will either lot them up, sell some of them individually. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with all those stickers, but they cost next to nothing because they are very lightweight. Now, this one was kind of a disappointment because it was heavy and the comps weren't very good. Now, this one has a specific bank on it, so I'm hoping that's what's going to sell mine. So I did price mine a little bit higher because there were none like it. Now, you're going to see me grab a bunch of Lion King, or um, I, I call them figures, but you can also use Cake Topper in the title because a lot of times people will make cakes and they will use these toys as Cake Toppers. And I think I bought that dinosaur, but I can't find my screenshot. I don't know why I can't find it. Maybe, I don't think it already sold. But I looked and looked and looked and I could not find it. Maybe I threw it back. Maybe it wasn't working or I don't know. Staples. I will pick up personal items. I do like to get some staples when I see them. So I've, I've uh, staples and soap so far. <laughs> I've got people handing me toys. Uh, a lot of times I see people that follow the channel and they've become friends of mine, and if they see something that I'm picking up, they will hand it to me, and vice versa. If I know they're looking for something, we just kind of share. Somebody just gave me a little Playmobil uh, thing. A lot of the, um, we all source different, I guess is what I want to say. So we're looking for different things. They know I like toys, so they will hand those off to me. Sometimes, just sometimes. And then sometimes we fight over them. It's like, who can grab it first? All right, there's a little orange chair. I, I did pick up this little orange chair. I have not identified this one yet. So if anybody knows what that goes to, let me know down in the comments because I have not listed it yet because I didn't want to take the time to figure it out. Uh, Google Lens is great, but sometimes on things like that, it just picks up a lot of things that don't really apply. All right, we're going to keep digging here. I did put these in my cart, but put them back because they were a little dirtier than I had hoped. I think they were like Peter Rabbit um, pot holders or pan holders, you know, to keep your hand from getting burnt. I don't know what they're called. I think they're called pot holders. <laughs> you can tell I cook a lot. All right, let's see what else we have. Picking up the little toys. So you guys will see me uh, lot those up. Smurf, Smurfette, Smurfette? I think that's Smurfette. I didn't grab her. I don't know why I didn't grab her. Would you have grabbed Smurfette? That was an Imaginex toy. And I am also creating a bag of those. And I will part those out into small lots. I think that is like, it goes on your head and it looks like a shark is eating you. 
I put that in my cart, but ended up putting it back. Would you have grabbed the shark head? I mean, who's going to walk around with a, a shark on their head? I guess it'd be a good Halloween costume, right? All right, you guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe. I would appreciate it so much. Um, we're going to keep looking here just a little while longer, but for the most part, I think I found some decent stuff. I was being more selective. I do think I passed by some things that I probably could have made a profit on. And I look forward to seeing your comments down below and your timestamps to help me learn and help everyone else learn. So well, I'm not sure if that's like a light holder. Does anybody pick up really big things at the bins? There were some more stickers, new old stock. Again, definitely picking those up. And another car, a lights and sound car. I've got that put to the side with some other cars, so I'm going to do a small lot of those. So when you see me picking up the small toys, they're going to get listed, just maybe not individually. All right, you guys, we are getting near the end here. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, at the end of the video, there's going to be a couple videos I think three videos and a subscribe button popping up. So I'd love for you to check out another video. I do a lot of Goodwill Benz videos, but I also focus on what sold. So I teach you about BOLO items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. So if you're interested in that type of content, I have probably over a thousand videos. Um, I am in year four of YouTube, so... Um, crazy crazy journey it's been let me know if you have a youtube channel down in the comments and um shout yourself out down there let everybody know who you are i also have memberships if anybody's interested in that you guys can check that out um that is a veggie tales i have not listed that yet but i am going to list it and i'm not sure what that piece of material was but i'm thinking maybe i should have grabbed it as well all right. We're close. Look at that little koala bear. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. Check out Dumpster Diva also. She has an awesome Goodwill Bins channel. And um, she talks to you while she's at the bins. She doesn't do voiceovers. So I'm like, people probably think she's crazy. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.